All our organ systems need to stay in constant communication with each other to coordinate functions. Communication between cells is known as intercellular communication. For example, the kidney regulates water and ion levels in the blood, as well as blood pressure, but it needs to know the current state of the body in order to regulate things properly. One way to regulate tissues is by using hormones, chemicals that travel in the blood. When sodium levels are low in the blood, the hormone aldosterone is released from the adrenal gland into the blood. Aldosterone is a steroid hormone, so once it is made, it can simply diffuse out of the endocrine cell and travel into the blood. Once in the blood, it binds to a carrier protein that helps it travel to its target cells in the kidney. Aldosterone enters the target cells and binds to an intracellular receptor. Together they bind DNA and increase expression of proteins that will help the kidney put more sodium back into the blood. The nervous system is another way we regulate cells. Neurons near the spinal cord extend all the way to the kidney. When blood pressure is low, neurons in the sympathetic nervous system become active and release chemicals called neurotransmitters directly onto target cells in the kidney. The neurotransmitter in this case is called norepinephrine, which is lipophobic. It is released from the neuron by exocytosis and binds receptors on the membrane of the kidney cells. This initiates a response from the cells that helps to increase the blood pressure. Using chemicals like hormones and neurotransmitters, the endocrine and nervous systems are able to regulate all the organs in our body to maintain homeostasis.